What's up, everyone? V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Retro VHS series. I still don't exactly know what to call this. Doc Ock and <clears throat> Aunt May. You are seeing that right. Aunt May. An action figure of Aunt May. Um, this, this is one of the packs of, of all time. Um, th th they're really sly. They were like, how can we sell an Aunt May figure? Oh, let's put it with a really cool Doc Ock. Um, I've been wanting a Doc Ock figure for a while, and I was originally going to get the one with, that was in a two-pack with Silk, I want to say, but the eBay listing, uh, was bought, and, uh, I saw this pack at New Dimension Comics, and was like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna buy it, I want a Doc Ock, and, um, yeah, um, this is, this is one of those purchases where I very much bought it for one figure, Aunt May, of course, um, but yes, yeah, this, this is really odd, um, this, <laughs> an action figure of Aunt May, never thought, uh, that would ever exist, let alone, I mean, I knew it exists in the past, but just never in my years expected it to ever exist in my hands. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, a. Uh... anyway, um, bought it for the Doc Ock because I really like Doc Ock and I don't have too many comic figures. And I got this before the, uh, movie one. I'm trying to show it, but the arms are getting in the way of each other. Before I got the movie one, I've had this pack for like a couple months now, maybe like two months. So yeah, um, really like Doc Ock, really like this design of Doc Ock, it's pretty cool and unique. And um, yeah, I wanted it, and uh, yeah, Aunt May, um, <laughs> before we get into this odd one. This is going to be a weird one. We got Aunt May. We got these giant arms. But yeah, before we get into it, of course, we'll talk about the packaging. It's that same kind of box that we saw with Black Suit Spidey and Carnage. You got this cool shot of Doc Ock and this really cool armor. And then um, Aunt May. They got the same design where it's like the person's coming from the back, so she's done for. She is done for. There's no way she makes it out alive. She is done. She's finished. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Doc Ock and Aunt May. Notice, I believe the Carnage and Black Suit Spidey said versus. I believe they say and Aunt May because they know there's not much of a fight going on here. Spider-Man, Marvel Comics, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, a glam shot of both of them. She seems, uh, happier in this picture. Um, interesting. Plastic-free packaging, except for tape and glue. They got that, like, because it's the VHS line. It's supposed to look like VHS tapes. I've never seen one in person a day in my life. So I don't know how accurate this is, but maybe it's cool to someone who was, you know around in that time, those ancient times. How were the pyramids as well? What was that like? What was the, uh, what were those days like? Anyway, Doc Ock got the one, two, Aunt May looking like they're, uh, I don't know, at their wedding, which maybe it is their wedding because I know they've gotten married in the comics before. Maybe this is what this design's from too. I don't know. Odd. You got a shot of them. Look at the newlyweds. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that's so odd. Um, but yeah, bringing, uh, them in. Uh, surprisingly, Doc Ock, the guy with the giant arms, stands better than Aunt May. But before we get into this, we'll talk about the accessories. They both don't come with much, but to be fair, the hell is Aunt May gonna come with? Uncle Ben's ashes? I don't know. But she does have two itty-bitty, tiny little fists. 
just in case she wants to attempt to duke it out. Um, again, what's she gonna do? This isn't Marissa Tomei we're talking about. But yeah, they exist. They're... And Mr. Otto Octavius comes with a gripping hand. Don't want to know what that's for. He doesn't come with anything to grip. And then a grabbing hand. I can only imagine what these two hands could be used for. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. This looks like it's supposed to grab a lever that doesn't exist. And I don't know, it's to just grab Aunt May, I'm assuming. That's accessory-wise. Uh, I guess the arms on Doc Ock count as an accessory. I guess, but yeah, we're gonna do AMA first because uh, we're saving the like that first video. We're saving the cooler one for last. Um, also, if I feel sound or act a bit off, don't know how you'd feel if I'm off, but it's because I'm on a kick right now. I've recorded two videos before this. This is the third video I'm recording, so there's bound to be a break. And also, this is such a weird video. I'm talking about an anime action figure. Um, as it as it stands, it's not bad. Um, I guess, what do you really expect from an Aunt May figure? Since this is from the animated show, it does have a very animated feel, especially in the head sculpt. Taking a look at that, that is, um, that is Aunt May. That is an elderly woman. She does have blonde hair, though, so maybe she dyes her hair. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, she's got a smile. She looks vaguely concerned, but, you know, she's got that, you know, grandma look, you know? Where it's like, you know, joyous concern. Then you come down to this weird, uh, suit thing. Got a button there. Very just plain looking. Again, gives that animated feel. Got a tie there. Got the arms, which I'm assuming were reused from something. I doubt these are brand new. But yeah, and then you got her uh, her hands, which look nice. And then you got her with this skirt. She's very traffic coned with this look, because this is an overlay. This is an overlay. This is an overlay over the overlay, so you're not going to get much articulation of her. But it looks nice. And you got her legs. um, And then her... And her heels, which, uh, why... Hasbro, why would you, why would you put her in heels? That makes her hard to stand. She stands oddly decently. She's going to be leaning, but, you know, and the paint kind of matches, which is nice. Um, it's Aunt, it's Aunt May. Um, don't really know what else to say. It's not like I'm particularly ecstatic about this figure. It's odd. It's kind of cool. To just get just a normal generic person as a figure as opposed to, you know, stuff like this. But, you know, it's cool. And, you know, it's it's cool to have an Aunt May adds to the collection of people to have in your collection. Um, it's odd, though. Never thought in a million years I'd have an Aunt May figure. But here we are. And that's how, that's how, they knew they couldn't release this on its own. So they had to, you know, put it in a pack. But anyway, head looks down that far, surprisingly well, up that far. Rotates, kind of bobs, arm moves out, rotates, single jointed elbow with rotation. Hands rotate, hinge in and out. You're getting no articulation from here on out besides rotation and slight up, it. oh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, it didn't didn't mean to do her like that. Um. Anyway, um, there's there's the average forward, back, splits, thigh rotation, double jointed knee, but like this is all this is all you're getting. Um, that cut does nothing, but you can do the hinge up and down and rocker, 
Although that rocker's terrifying to move with how thin those ankles are. So yeah, you're just you're gonna have her standing like this, or you know, like this. You're not getting her in any like dynamic poses. But to be fair, like, were we expecting to put Aunt May in dynamic poses? I don't know. Maybe if it was the one from a uh, Spider Verse, she seemed like she had it together. Or Marissa Tomei, she was willing to fight Green Goblin. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let's get to the figure that I actually care about. Um, the whole reason why I bought this pack for Doc Ock. This is the first Marvel Legends Doc Ock I ever got. And really the first proper Doc Ock figure I've ever had. The only other figure I had was that, like, Superhero Squad Doc Ock. So yeah, it's I've been one one for a while, and it was really cool to get this. I do like this design. This is not the uh, more uh, like overweight Doc Ock that we're used to. This is the uh, shredded abs. I'm gonna date your aunt, Doc Ock, and uh, he has that intensity to him. He has that like look with his face um the arms are long as you can see they are very big um and it is odd posing him with the arms because they're also very very bendy like like they bend incredibly well as opposed to the movie one which I fought like hell just to get him in this pose. These ones are longer and they bend a lot easier, which is both good and bad. Because then when you're trying to mess with him, it bends. Also, these were a little loose. I had to, like, put some tape over the peg to stop them from just, like, drooping. But they're still kind of droopy. But yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely odd. And, uh, I'm gonna have to bend the arms out of the way. So we can take a look at them. Hopefully this doesn't end bad. But that head sculpt is really cool. He has that bowl cut. But he has the sides trimmed. He's a uh, he's going full on like... I don't know. He's laying it into that like shredded abs. Dating your grandma. Or not grandma, aunt. Type of vibe. Like he's in full hater mode right now. But he's got the glasses, which are slightly transparent. And they also have, like, these lines painted on to, you know, give it that animated, like, glasses look, which is really cool. He's got this, like, grimace on his face, which looks really nice. Then come down to the armor, giving Thanos. I'm not the biggest fan of just the orange. It's very jarring. Um, I don't know how they could have done it better. But, uh, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that. But it looks... The armor looks really cool. I do really like this vibe for Doc Ock. I do definitely prefer this to the more, like, just green jumpsuit look. At least it's got a more unique design. And then you got a little bit of detail for the abs. Wish it was more prominent. It does kind of just fade away in the sculpt a bit. Then you got his belt. Coming down to his arms, he's got these really, like, round gauntlets. They are very much animated looking with more orange on them then showing his back look look at how i have to have him you got like this little box here where the arms come out so yeah i guess them not coming out the back and having the curve gives them more like space but yeah it's a uh... ooh but yeah they're like incredibly bendy like it is crazy like how well they bend like we already got him in some wild pose anyway legs he's got more of that like jumpsuit design which looks really cool then come down to the boots where the orange is the most noticeable He's got little spikes. These are very, like, animated. They are, like, this two-pack, they really laid into the animated feel. Which looks cool. 
and yeah, it's about it. He's got some, like, butt detail and everything. Yeah, really hard to, like, showcase him. I'm kind of mad I had his arms in a very specific pose, and now I need to attempt to get them back into that pose. I feel like his arms are being very droopy today, which I don't like. Oh, I've, I've just absolutely butchered how his arms look. Oh, wait, we're kind of getting somewhere. They're, they just keep drooping, which is really annoying. Anyway, we'll deal with the annoying arms in a minute. Articulation-wise, he has a dumbbell joint at the head and neck, rotates, bobs, hinges out that far. Yeah, you're getting blocked there. Rotation, double jointed elbow, which is kind of hindered by the gauntlet. Hinge in and out with rotation on all the hands except for the weird grippy hand, like the lever hand that goes up and down. Diaphragm joint here. Shoots back that far, that far forward, rotates. Kicks that far forward, that far back. Can do the splits. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee. The hinge up and down and a rocker. I know it looks like he has a boot cut. He does not. That's just false advertising. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to try to fix the arms. Okay. I kind of got them looking more like this. This Doc Ock. Um, really hard. These, like, long and really bendy. At first, I loved them, but now I kind of prefer this Doc Ox, because now I've just got them in this pose, and they'll stay like that forever, which is really cool, as opposed to these, which really like to bend. But for posing, though, and, like, taking pictures and everything, they're great. It's just, I want them in this static pose for the rest of their lives. But yeah, comparison time. Um, this is going to be hard because arms, but come on, come on, Aunt May. See, this, this, this is why you keep dying. For a black series, and where is he? Where did I put him? There he is. For black series scale and a Transformers Voyager class scale, here they are next to, a uh, Apo. A uh, little hard to do it here. And here they are next to Shockwave. For a 7 inch scale comparison, here they are next to the DC McFarlane Black Manta. And the Jazzwares Halo 3 Master Chief. And for some more fun comparisons, I gotta bend my legs. Ooh. My setup's on the ground, so I'm, like, sitting on the ground right now. Here he is next to a couple of the previous reviews. The Last Stand Spider-Man. The Scarlet Spider. And from that previous two-pack I reviewed, Black Suit Spidey and Carnage. So they look really cool together. You kind of building a bit of a crew there from the two packs and for some more fun here he is next to the oh wait i have shocker i forgot i had shocker only other like kind of like normal spidey villains have in comic here he is next to shocker and electro i have green goblin coming and i have the uh has con like cell shaded venom on the way as well, so that's pretty hype. And finally, here they are next to the Rainier Val Spidey. You know, it got Spidey and Aunt May, which is cool. And finally, I got him recently. Looks like we got competition. The Iron Spider-Man. Yeah, the arms are a uh, harder plastic and do not bend like his. But it is really cool to... Like, look at how they're already drooping. But, like, it is really cool to be able to have, like, a 
Iron Spider to face off against Doc Ock. That's really awesome. But yeah, do I recommend this two-pack? Um, honestly, I do. Um, it is... Oh, wait. Here's that other Doc Ock. But yeah, do I recommend this? Um, like I said, I do. The Doc Ock is really cool. The bending of the arms, they're really bendy. So if that kind of annoys you, like it's kind of annoying me in this video, that'll be a slight issue. But the Doc Ock figure itself is really cool. And if you do like posing the arms a lot, then this is perfect for you. And if you wanted an Aunt May, here's probably your only chance for a while. I doubt they're going to be making too many Aunt May figures. It is pricey. I think it's like $50. So if you only want the Doc Ock, it is going to be a bit annoying to have to drop $50 for him. And again, Aunt May. But, you know, I honestly do think it's worth it. The Doc Ock's pretty cool. And Aunt May's not bad. It's a solid Aunt May. It's as good as probably Aunt May's gonna get beyond being Marissa Tomei. But, you know, it is nice. It's really cool to get a Doc Ock. Um, but yeah, I'd give this pack a solid 7 out of 10. Um, Doc Ock's definitely more like 7, 8 out of 10. Aunt May's like 5, 6. It's because she's nothing special. But yeah, that's about it. Like, subscribe. Check out my previous reviews. Um, a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Um, more Spidey stuff to come. But yeah, that's... Check out my Instagram, Moon So You can talk to me there. You can see different posts and stuff. I'm doing a lot of guitar videos. I'm doing, like, a... Learning how to play Karma Police by Radiohead. That's pretty fun. Gonna have a lot of Muse videos when, uh, I get my, uh, Will of the People mask in the mail. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you have a wonderful day, and hopefully one of your arch nemesis doesn't, uh, marry your, uh, aunt. Cause, uh, only bad things will come from that. And if not, then you just got a really annoying uncle. That's about it. Peace.